In this video, we are going to create a text logo. Go to top menu, look for view and zoom, and we're going to change it to one to one. Once it is done at the bottom of the corner, unlock the canvas and click the canvas icon a couple of times. Once it is done on the left side, create text objects and bring the cursor in the middle and type any two alphabets or any number of alphabets or text, whichever you want. I'm going to do two and then I'm going to select tool, select that and increase the size of the letters. And I'm going to do the same for the second alphabet as well, adjust the size. Once these two texts are done, bring them to whichever position you want. Once both of these texts are adjusted at the position, go to the top, select them, and change the objects to path. Now, once it is done, we're going to create a circle on the left side. Click the circle and ellipsis, and make sure the size of the ellipsis is a little bit smaller than the text. On the right side, we're going to do a fill and stroke and we're going to adjust the width of the stroke, reduce the width. Once the done, we're going to change the color. I know the shortcut key for the is black, which is triple zero. Uh, once it is done, use the select tool and click on the circle a couple of times till you see the plus sign in the middle and bring that plus sign all the way to the corner and drag it all the way to the right side corner. And on the right side, you're gonna click transform and we're going to give an angle to this. Right now it's going to be 20 degrees. So every second circle will be 20 degrees to the previous one. Control D will generate a duplicate and click apply. Control D and apply. Do it a couple of times to, to create all these circles. And once you finish all these circles, grab all of them, go to path, and we're gonna change it from stroke to path. Once it is done, we're going to combine them by clicking on union. And once your union is done, we're gonna bring all that circle as one and place it on top of the letters. Once it is done, we're going to adjust the placement. It's all up to you. And select both of them, go to the path, and make it as difference. Once you do a difference, you can see that it actually cuts the design. And select these two letters and bring it to the center. And we're going to add some colors to this one. So bring it in the middle on the right side. We're going to do the fill. Once in the fill, you will see a linear gradient on the right side. Before that, we're going to add some background color and click on the linear gradient. And at the bottom, you will see edit gradient. Click that, you'll see a horizontal bar come between the text. And all the way to the left side, you will see a small square. Select that square, bring it all the way up. It changes the direction of the gradient. And at the bottom, you will see a red dot. Select that circle and bring it all the way to the bottom. What you basically did is you changed the linear gradient from left to right and to bottom to top. I mean, top to bottom. And once it is done, change the bottom color, pick any color you want for the bottom half. And once it is done, we're going to create a circle again. Uh, right now it's pink because it picks up the previous color you used and we're going to add some stroke to it and we're going to change the fill as well. Change the stroke style, we're going to increase the width of the stroke to make it a little bit darker and black and I'm going to remove this magenta color so all you have to do is make it black and bring the bottom uh, bar if you see it, if I can drag it all the way to the left side, uh, you will see it. there should be a no fill for the circle. 
And if you see that X mark, when you click on that, it removes the color of the circle. Bring the circle on top of the letters and it's right now smaller, adjust the size so that it fits whichever text you're using and make the text in the middle and the circle will right behind it. Once it is done, we're going to adjust the size of it. Once the size is done, we're going to add some stroke style for it. I'm going to increase just a little bit of the width of the stroke style. Currently, it is a little bit smaller for me. So I'm going to increase it and then I'm going to change the color of the stroke right now. Currently it is black, I'll pick whatever color I want. Once the stroke, whichever color is perfect for you, we're going to add some fill to it. Uh, for the fill, I'll try to use a dark color. I'm going to use black, but right now my opacity is only set to 80 degrees, 80%, not degrees, 80%. I'm going to bring it all the way to 100. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the circle to the back and text to the front. Once it is done, select both of these letters and make them as a union and group them together. So if you go up and just group this letter and that's it. You just created your text logo.